One sunny afternoon, Brittany sat by the window in her small, cozy apartment, sipping on her favorite herbal tea. She watched people pass by on the street below, each person lost in their own world. Her cat, Whiskers, purred softly on her lap, providing a comforting presence. Brittany had been feeling a bit down lately, struggling with her self-esteem and often comparing herself to others. It seemed like everyone else had their life together while she was stuck in the same place. One day, her best friend Emma called and suggested they meet at the park for a walk. As Brittany strolled into the park, she saw Emma waving from a bench under a big oak tree. Emma was always so full of energy and positivity. And today was no different. Hey, Brittany. Emma called out, smiling brightly. I brought your favorite chocolate chip cookies. Thought you might need a little pick-me-up. Brittany smiled back, feeling a little lighter already. Thanks, Emma. I really needed this. They walked along the park's winding paths, chatting about everything and nothing. After a while, Emma turned to Brittany, her expression serious. Brittany, I've noticed you've been pretty hard on yourself lately. What's going on? Brittany sighed, looking down at her feet. I don't know, Emma. I just feel like I'm not good enough. I see everyone else doing amazing things, and I'm just, here. Emma stopped and turned to face Brittany. You know, everyone has their own struggles. It's easy to look at someone else's life and think it's perfect, but you never really know what they're going through. Brittany nodded but she still felt a heavy weight in her chest. I know you're right, but it's hard. I don't even know where to start. Emma smiled gently. How about we start with something simple? Every day, write down one thing you like about yourself. It doesn't have to be big. Just one small thing. Can you do that? Brittany thought about it for a moment. I guess I can try. Over the next few weeks, Brittany made an effort to follow Emma's advice. Some days were harder than others, but she found herself gradually starting to appreciate little things about herself. She liked the way she always remembered her friends' birthdays, how she made a mean lasagna, and how she could always make her little cousin laugh. One day, while Brittany was writing in her journal, she got a call from her colleague, Mark. Hey, Brittany. Just wanted to let you know that the presentation you gave last week was fantastic. The boss was really impressed. Brittany was taken aback. Really? I didn't think it was anything special. Mark laughed. Well, it was. You should give yourself more credit. After the call, Brittany sat quietly for a moment, feeling a warm glow of pride. Maybe she was too hard on herself after all. That evening, Brittany called Emma to share the good news. You were right, Emma. I just needed to start seeing the good in myself. Thank you for always being there for me. Emma's voice was full of warmth. I'm so glad to hear that, Brittany. Remember, self-love is a journey. You're doing great, and I'm always here to cheer you on. As Brittany hung up, she looked around her apartment, feeling a sense of peace. She was learning to love herself, flaws and all. And with friends like Emma and little steps every day, she knew she would be just fine.